hey friends welcome uh, today we are going to discuss partial molar properties or they are also known as partial molar quantities and before starting this topic one point i want to discuss that is this partial molar quantities they are always considered when we are seeing or when we are considering binary trife tertiary or in short when we are considering mixtures of non ideal systems okay when we are considering ideal systems then always there will be molar properties and not partial molar properties so uh, let me take one example that is if you have 100 ml of water and in that 100 ml of water if you add say 10 ml of water so the total increase in water okay, suppose i am having 100 ml of water in a beaker and in that i am adding again say 5 ml of water molecule or water so the total volume over here will be 105 ml of water so the total volume of the system remains same the reason is that okay, we are adding water in water so the molecules or the net interaction of molecules when we add another 5 ml of water it remains same now take another example that is uh, let let us take consider that we are having say 10000 ml of uh, say methanol and in that 10000 ml of methanol if i am adding 18 that is 1 mole of water okay so as we have expected if i am adding 18 ml of water in 10000 ml of methanol then the total volume should come around 10018 ml but actually it is observed that the actual volume comes around 10014 ml that is 4 ml less and the reason why this 4 ml less is because of the molecular interaction between the molecules of two different kinds and this change in the volume when we are considering binary mixtures then this change in volume is known as partial molar volume okay so in short partial molar properties can be defined as there are those properties whose quantity changes with change in number of moles so over here i am changing or with the change in the mole fraction the net volume of is changing and hence over here i can say that 14 ml is the partial molar volume of water in methanol so when we are adding a small quantity of any another constituent in a larger amount of say first constituent or when we are adding a small amount of solute in larger amount of solvent then there is a net change in the property and that change in the property is known as partial molar properties so there are several extensive properties like we have volume free energy heat content heat capacity so these are some of the extensive property and this extensive property they depend on the number of moles so over here in the binary mixture as we are changing the composition then what will happen there are properties or all those properties will also change and hence those properties are generally referred as partial molar properties so hope the basic concept of partial molar properties is clear to you okay that is uh, when we change the number of moles or when we mix or in a binary mixture okay when we change the composition then the certain amount of properties they changes and those change in the properties are known as partial molar properties okay you might have heard partial molar volume but you will never never heard partial molar temperature or you have never heard we 
generally speak partial pressure but we never speak partial molar pressure so always we hear partial molar volume partial molar heat content partial molar entropy then partial molar free energy that is chemical potential and all the, those so those properties with which change with the number of moles okay so all those properties are known as or all those um, thermodynamic properties are known as partial molar quantities or partial molar properties and respectively if we are considering volume then it will be partial molar volume if you are considering heat content then it will be partial molar heat content if we are looking towards free energy then it will be partial molar free energy okay so moving to the mathematical concept of partial molar properties are clear to you so moving to the mathematical concept of uh, partial molar properties so suppose if we consider that x is any partial molar quantity and that quantity is dependent on the state of the system so it is it can be completely determined by the state of the system like we have state variables like temperature pressure and number of moles so this thermodynamic property can be written as it can be determined by function of pressure temperature and for simplicity we are only considering binary systems so n1 and n2 so this thermodynamic property it depends on pressure temperature and number of moles of constituent a and number of moles of constituent 1 and number of moles of constituent 2 respectively okay so where x over here is a thermodynamic property now if we perform or if there is a very small change in the temperature pressure as well as all these constituents so if there is a small change so if i change the pressure then this quantity will obviously change very simple example okay, i am taking one mole of oxygen gas at any certain pressure and if i change the pressure if i compress the pressure then volume will change then if temperature for the same gas if i increase the temperature also volume will change so with the change in these properties what will happen this thermodynamic function will also change so i can write change dx can be written as dx upon dp dx by p at constant temperature and n1 and n2 and we can write dp plus dx by dt at constant pressure n1 n2 and we can write dt plus we can write dx upon dn1 at same constant temperature pressure and n2 d n2 sorry n1 plus same can be written for n2 also okay so over here this quantity that is change in our thermodynamic function with respect to the number of moles so this change is known as partial molar property okay so in binary system or suppose if we are having any binary system and in that binary system we are adding one of the component in that and if we find the change in that property then that property can be written or that property is our partial molar property okay so similarly and this partial molar property that is dx upon dn1 bar can be written as x1 bar also and that we have also already seen in my earlier lectures also okay, for partial molar volume we were writing v1 bar and for heat content we write h bar so uh, for volume we write v bar that is partial molar volume and h bar is for partial molar heat content so similarly you can write x1 bar and if we have dx upon dn2 so it can be written as x2 bar so similarly if we substitute both these values in above equation so we can write dx is equal to dx upon dp 
at constant temperature n1 n2 into dp plus dx upon dt at constant p n1 n2 dt plus we have x1 bar dn1 plus x2 bar d n2 okay again if we consider that our system is at constant temperature and constant pressure so if our system is an isobaric and isothermal system then for that we can write dp will be equal to 0 and dt will be equal to 0 so both these terms will be equal to 0 and hence i can write dx is equal to x1 bar dn1 plus x2 bar d n2 and suppose if i integrate this equation then i will get x will be equal to x1 bar n1 plus x2 bar n2 and this i can generalize and write it as summation i is equal uh, n is equal to i to infinity n i x i bar so for n number of systems so this will be our general equation for calculating the molar property from partial molar property that is suppose if we are having volume and if we want or suppose as i have talked earlier that if we are mixing two liquids that is methanol and water and if we want we know their partial molar volume then their molar volume v can be determined by we can write n1 v1 bar plus n2 v2 bar okay and similarly any another quantity can also be determined in the similar way so as i have told partial molar quantity are those quantities which changes with the number of moles like if we make a change in the number of moles of any system if volume is changing then it will be partial molar volume if heat is changing then it will be partial molar heat suppose uh, if we have like we can write de upon dn so it will be partial molar energy then i can write uh, we have dg upon dn and that is partial molar gibbs free energy and that can be written also as mu that is our chemical potential similarly uh, we can write partial molar work function partial molar entropy and so on so partial molar quantity is nothing but any quantity which changes with a number of moles in a system then those quantities are known as partial molar quantities and again partial molar quantities are always and always measured for multi component systems for single component system it always it will be always a molar property hope the topic is clear thank you very much